start doing the sculpting part. After it's been thrown on the wheel, I use coffee filters to soften up the clay again. And this I'm creating the mouth. There's those body parts again. Of course, I'm doing face mugs. But I'll use my finger to push in the cavity of the mouth. And like before, it's so wet and stuff, so I'll pull out the old blowtorch and I'll stiffen it back up again. Tim Allen would be proud. different colored clay. This is a darker brown. I actually use uh, uh, four to five different clays in these mugs. Uh, two different clays for the, this is a medium range lighter stoneware and this is a high iron content stoneware. And I'll uh, I put in a little water just to, it kind of works as a glue. the gums. And the way I'm working right now, this is how I do the, excuse me, the entire face. Uh, it's using little coils and hunks of clay. And I just build up them. Creates a face. Teeth here in a sec. Once I get this in place, uh, I go to the teeth. And the teeth, uh, this, uh, I sometimes use three different types of clay, uh, uh, porcelain, a, uh, and a couple of different types of white earthenware. Uh, the porcelain is a, a much whiter white, where the uh, uh, stonewares are, have more of a cream type natural tooth look to it, but I think the combination of the, the two just look kind of neat. I'm dipping the clay and just plain water. Water to uh, dry clay is like acid. It immediately starts to break down. Uh, when I invented the technique with the teeth, uh, I thought, why not? Why have, why create you know teeth right on there and then have to paint them white? We're going to take a uh, different colored clay and uh, let it dry and just push it up. And uh, it worked pretty well. For, uh, uh, the teeth had a tendency to fall out. That I would take. Uh, 
see here. I would take the teeth, shove them in, and they have a tendency to fall out. So that's where I, I, and remembering that dry clay breaks down in water, just a single dip like that, and the teeth stay in now. from uh, when I do it the other way, carving in the teeth and painting, that would take four to six hours. Or this, you can see that it's pretty doggone fast. Okay. Once I get the teeth in, that's, uh, well, it's time to start building up the face. And like I mentioned, it's uh, using little coils and clumps. What I'm doing here is uh, got to have something for some of the larger pieces to hang on to, and they call this scoring. Once I create the, the lip, uh, or lips, um, I'll score the other side of that too, and uh, use water, and the clay starts to break down a little bit again. And, uh, that creates like a glue and a suction, so things hang on a lot better. Uh, otherwise, the parts would have a tendency to crack and fall off. brushes a lot. They're just good finger extenders. <laughs> 